6, Naresh Bhatt is behind bars, not only accused of hiding the body of his missing wife, but also now suspected of killing her too. For the first time, he and our team of reporters, we just learned some of the evidence that detectives have compiled over the past three weeks and some of the details are disturbing. 7 News reporter Nick Manock is live in Manassas. Nick, you've got those details and new information about the husband. That's right, Scott. 7 News on your side just confirmed that Narish Bot briefly served as a police recruit with the Fairfax County Police Department, and he served as an automated logistics specialist with the Army Reserve. Now, his wife's body still hasn't been found, but the police chief presumes she is dead. The search, though, still continues. People are leaving flowers in honor of Mamte Ba outside her Manassas Park home for several weeks when she was reported missing. Her loved ones were holding out hope that she was still alive. But now, after hearing what was said in court, I think we're all in a state of shock. Many of those who care for her are thinking the worse. I don't think the horrific nature of it was what we expected to hear today. They used the words blood pooling. Um, they identified large volumes of what like blood stains. That's what prosecutors said in court Friday morning. Investigators say they found evidence of blood splatter and pools of blood inside the master bedroom and bathroom of the bot home, plus evidence of a body dragged outside the home. It sounds whatever happened in that house reached a high level of brutality. Um, and that makes me sad to think that my mom has suffered greatly in her last, what appears to be her last moments. Although they have not yet found Mamta's body, Manassas Park Police are accusing Narish Bhatt of killing his wife. His defense attorney argued there was no evidence of murder. Over the past few weeks, Narish stood in front of news outlets speaking on his wife's disappearance. I need like your help. But now he's in custody. Prosecutors said a few days ago Narish sold his car and had previously discussed selling his home. We're also told after Mamta went missing, her husband changed his story multiple times, claimed his wife destroyed her phone before disappearing, traveled to Chantilly to buy knives, and then the next day, cleaning supplies. Now, those who care for Mamta are raising money to help care for her one-year-old daughter, who was seen taken into the care of social services. Mr. Bott's next court date is Monday and 7 News expects to be there. Reporting live in Manassas Park, Nick Minox, 7 News. 7 News has also confirmed with the immigration attorney for Mamta's mother that an emergency visa has been granted so that Mamta's family can come to the United States to care for her, for the couple's one-year-old daughter rather. As Nick reported, the child is in the care of social services right now. 7 News is continuing to follow all of these developments and we'll bring you another update coming up tonight at 11 o'clock. Tom Rousey picks up our team coverage in the meantime from the alert desk and Tom, you found social media videos of the family. Yeah, we just were able to find these a short time ago, Scott. Their mom to with her daughter. She apparently was a frequent poster to TikTok, and we found several videos of her just really sweet videos that she made with her daughter. Now she posted frequently during the month of July. In fact, most days in July, she posted some video on TikTok. The last day she posted a video, though, was July 28th, which is also the last day police believe she was seen before at some point they believe she was killed by her husband. At the Alert Desk, I'm Tom Rousey.